a huge Costco haul for only $6. Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming on my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos, vlog videos. Today's video is going to be a huge Costco haul. We haven't been to Costco for almost a month. So I went on shopping spree and spent a total of $6. Wow, these many items for $6. Well, the story is I'm a huge Costco fan. I spent so much money at Costco and we got like $300, 300 something dollars of cashback gift card. So we used it all at Costco again. So in today's video, we're gonna haul this $346 worth of grocery. Without further ado, let's dive into today's haul. First item, we're gonna do a taste test. I'm actually really, really excited. This is actually a product of Japan. I pretty much bought this because it's product of Japan. It's my dream to travel to Japan. So at first it was because I was a student and it's really expensive to travel to Japan. Now that I work full time, pandemic hit and I couldn't go. And now that I could go, but I don't have enough holidays to go through this quarantine thing. So long story short, we're just gonna taste Japanese products here in America. But I'm so glad that Costco is having more and more Asian food items and I love to try all kinds of Asian food of traditional high quality Japanese confection. So inside of these, it has like five different flavors of baked cake. This is what the product looks like. It looks really fancy. Also, I believe this is also a gift package. So if you want to give someone like a present or something, this is usually like people buy. Moving on the second item, I am super excited. This is from the brand Skechers. Like, I feel like when I first started going to Costco, I mainly just bought food and groceries or like produce. And then I started to buy clothes and shoes and everything there. And these are $20. And basically, this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a Birkenstock, but Birkenstock is so expensive. I've never owned any of them. <laughs> so I mainly buy the off brand stuff, but it kind of looks similar. I would say, like, these shoes, they're kind of soft but not as soft as like some other like more expensive brand if you press them to it it's pretty soft and i it does have a really good arch support in the middle right here but compared to some other like more expensive brands i would say it's not as soft but like those sandals and shoes like i walk a lot in these they do wear off really quickly so i just don't feel the need to buy super expensive ones because I basically buy a new pair each year. So these are $20, pretty good value. They have two colors, black one and a taupe one. I like the taupe one better just for my own like skin colors and my own outfits and stuff. I wear a lot of gray. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of soft with good support, but it's not like a Birkenstock. It's not like the best quality, but it's good enough if it's from Skechers. They have really good walking shoes in general and pretty affordable. So I'm glad that Costco here are some so these are my like taking a walk type of shoes moving on next item is for my cat i love my cat i think he deserves the best of the best and previously we bought a something like this from amazon it was good but it was mainly made of plastic and plastic they do wear off easily but this one it says it's made of stainless steel and it also has a model outside of the box it looks pretty cool so basically what it is is a flower fountain made with a stainless steel kit it has a little bowl here for the food and it also has the fountain here basically you put water in the fountain just like go and the cat they love running water a lot so my cat actually like his right now but it's getting a little bit old and also like it's kind of wear off with the plastic but this one like it comes with a whole set and i think it's cheaper than like buying from other places let's open it do a little menu and this is the main thing, filter on the side. And it also gives you this pad thing. So this is a stainless steel football on the side and it gives you this padding and you can just put it on the ground, it's non-slip. So I do really like the fact that it includes the three triple action fountain filters and like this is what it looks like. So like you do need to change the filter so that it doesn't get like dirty and stuff. And it says to replace the filters monthly. So I do like that. So yeah, this is what the product contains will give you a little b-rolls at the end after we install it and give it to Simba. Well, it's already light up, look. Right, because you plug it in and it lights up. Oh, it has lights as well. It's in the light, it's in the color blue. 
this is what it looks like guys it's really cute i think this is like super fancy for like the amount of money i think it's like 26 dollars it has a little nightlight for my cat a little bit of footballs and then like this fountain thing i think it's also bigger i'm excited for simba for trying this simba come here to drink some water Tippy, this is your new thing Tippy, come here Yay, He's confused. He's like all confused. He doesn't think I'm feeling about the blue light. Really? Yeah, he doesn't know why the light is blue. He's looking at it. It's a repurchase. I think this is like a fourth, tenth time I purchased this item. This is from Starbucks by Nespresso. So Nespresso actually has like two types of machines. One is the original, one is like the virtual or something. Always buy the original one because the original one, they're like, you can buy the pots from different places like Costco, but if you get like the new virtual one, where, how do you say it? Like you kind of have to only buy the pots from the original website, which could be a little bit pricey. So these are definitely cheaper when sold in Costco. It's not that much cheaper, but like cheap enough for me to buy it from Costco, but it is officially by Nespresso, so it won't mess up your machine. So, and I really like the flavor as well. My favorite is from the Boulogne Espresso. You can also get this from Amazon, link it down below. And I think Amazon, you can just buy different flavors, buy them all instead of the variety pack. My favorite is the Boulogne, but everyone has their own preference, especially when it comes to coffee. We got a lighter pack, you know, for lighting my candles and stuff. There are four individually packaged multi-purpose lighters uh, we keep them like around our candles especially like at night I just like to create that cozy vibe and I always forget to buy them when it goes to grocery store so it's good to buy them in variety pack or make a dedicated video review in this this is from the brand boba bam and this is the instant boba pack brown sugar 12 packs included with straws nice so basically 60 seconds in the microwave and you can just drink boba at home actually like i knew about this idol not because i watched a youtube video actually my friend has an instagram story of like a boba disaster in the morning i was like what happened and she's like i microwave them too for too long i was like wait there's a microwave boba i felt like boba tea are just pretty expensive i think different brands are just having like different creative ideas for us to make boba at home i know personally i know how to make boba at home I'm just a little bit lazy and I do like those instant packs. So we're gonna review this for you to see if it's actually worth buying. Ooh, these are so good. This is the ahi wasabi poke. I'm pretty sure we're gonna eat this one as dinner. So Costco, they do sell really, really good poke. And these are like wasabi poke, so they're a little bit spicy. If you like the wasabi flavor, I would say ahi tuna is basically a high mercury fish. It's not good to eat them too much, but like once in a while, it's pretty good. To go with this, to go with these, we also bought some seaweed salad. We're just gonna make some homemade poke bowl at home because poke bowls are pretty expensive. But I would say like usually, like these are not cheap either. The ahi tuna is like $18.91. It's like $20 and if you buy the ingredients, but you do get more meat because a lot of times at poke places, you get a lot of rice in size but not a lot of meat so we got some seaweed salad from costco and some ahi tuna like like we buy these actually a lot the ahi wasabi pokey i really like the wasabi flavor but i understand that it may not be for everyone like my friend at work tried the wasabis and he was like Ugh. i really 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 like wasabi i just love that Whew, spicy flavor that goes through my sinuses just clears out all my allergies like so got these from Costco and this is the chocolate chocolate dessert Ooh, it has cookie crumbs Ooh, yum 15 grams of added sugar per cup um, each cup is 200 calories so I guess it's not too bad because a lot of dessert the calories are very dense so each cup has 12 grams of fat 4 grams of protein 15 grams of added sugar and 200 um, calories I never eat a cup by it I never eat one cup by myself I always like try to share with others 
And this container has like six cups. I do want to say Costco sells really good dessert items like these. I haven't been turned down yet. Like I haven't had any big disappointment yet. So I'm actually pretty excited about this. This is from the brand Hikori. Hikori Seasoned Stripe. Stripe? Stive? Stripe? Like the packaging is absolutely amazing, but I have no idea what it was, but it did attract my attention. So basically this is our air dried beef slices. I was looking for like a jerky snack because like I'm trying to eat less carbs and more protein. And usually at work when I get bored, I really want snacks. So this one, it does contain a lot of sodium, 430 milligrams of sodium. But the good thing is it doesn't contain any added sugar and each serving has only two grams of fat. Let's try it out. Tomorrow when I go to work, I actually bring it with me. Ooh, it actually smells okay. To be honest, I prefer turkey jerkies than beef jerkies, but the turkey jerky sold in Costco, it tastes a little bit too salty. I didn't like the flavor that much. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit different from normal jerkies because these are air dried sliced beef. So it's a little bit different. I guess jerkies are a little bit air dried too. Oh, interesting. Try this, let me know. <laughs> I do not like it. It has a different texture, right? Yeah, it tastes like hard or like hard lemon. <laughs> it tastes funny. I would say the taste is pretty good. The texture is a little bit weird. Because these are air dried beef slices. They're not jerkies. They don't taste like jerkies. They taste like dried beef. I guess jerkies are dried beef. How do I say this? This is different. I want to say it's a less dry. The texture is a little bit more chewy than the normal jerkies. It's less dry compared to the normal jerkies. I wouldn't say I like this one, but I will still eat it just because I bought it. And it doesn't taste bad. It's just a little bit weird. I wish there was a taste test of this item at Costco before we bought it, but it's not bad. Like it's edible. It's just different. I'm definitely going to film a dedicated video reviewing this. I say I'm gonna review a lot of food items, but I haven't got a chance to cook and review simply because like we've been traveling to New York for the past like five days. So if you haven't checked out our New York vlog, make sure to check them out. So I haven't got a chance to actually cook in general and I've been trying so hard to edit the vlogs for New York, but this item caught my eye and it's from the brand Tattoo Chef. I basically love almost everything from this brand. So when I saw a new item from this brand that I like, I just have to try this. And this is their Spanish style grain free rice and it has seasoned chickpea lentil rice with tomatoes and bell peppers. I really like Spanish rice. I really like the flavor so I was like okay let's try this out so each serving has 200 calories with 9 grams of fat but don't worry about it, it as 1.5 gram of saturated fat so it's like unsaturated fat and it's pretty high in sodium 500 milligrams of sodium but I would say Spanish rice does contain high sodium in general it has 5 grams of fiber 2 grams of sugar 8 grams of protein it's pretty high in protein for a rice item and 24 grams of total carbs so deduct the 5 grams of fiber I guess it's like 19 grams of the carbs in general what I like about this item is that if you look at the ingredient list it has chickpea pasta basically chickpea flour pre-cooked lentil flour um their sauce contains extra virgin olive oil so instead of using canola oil it's actually using olive oil which i love and um some chili peppers paprika garlic and stuff vegetable broth and stuff so i do think this is a pretty pretty good item it does contain a little bit of sunflower oil is which is not the best oil but it's listed a little bit in at the bottom of the list so i assume there are not a lot of them so i am actually really intrigued about this item so we're gonna make a dedicated video review on this i'm so 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 excited cause just because i love the brand and i love spanish rice in general a repurchased item we actually filmed a youtube shorts review on this um i'm still trying to get a hang of youtube shorts like i have no idea like 
what type of videos to make for YouTube Shorts? Um, comment down below what type of YouTube Shorts that you would love to watch in this channel. But I filmed some like food review videos so far. And this is from the brand of Frankly Fresh. And this is our chicken breast burrito bowls. These are so good. And it does contain 30 grams of protein, which I love, love, love a lot. So it's a high protein item. And my husband thinks this one tastes very similar to Chipotle which we absolutely love. So it doesn't taste like packaged food. It actually tastes like Chipotle. So it's really good for a lunch item. Next item, this is from the brand Savora. And this is their glaze and bake oyster garlic glazed pork tenderloin. So Brandon bought this for his office to share as a lunch item. So this one, it actually looks pretty okay. The only problem I have is that it has 10 grams of sugar and 730 milligrams of sodium. So it's high in sodium, high in sugar, but also high in protein. I personally wouldn't and eat this every single day but i think like it's a pretty like convenient item to eat at the office but like a lot of times at lunch like unless you meal prep it's just like very hard to eat healthy in this schedule so hopefully my youtube will take off and i can quit my job and then i can meal prep as much as i want and teach you all the recipes that i know but for now we're both working next item brandon found a new recipe for a salad and that involves smoked salmon. This is the Kirkland Signature Wild Alaska Smoked Sock-Eyed Salmon. So Brandon said this is actually like a fancy meat for salmon and I'm really, really, really excited. This is a great item to add in your salad as protein and it's just protein rich food it's like nutrient rich food so really excited about this salad this time we got the mediterranean crunch salad and the caesar salad kit which we always get these are super good pistachio they were on sale these are salt and pepper flavor we also got the ones in the shell just because like the ones without the shell i should just like eat them with a spoon it's just they're easy to overeat and the shell usually contains a lot of flavor so i do like to open them on shell from the shell and then eat it and then Thing. So yeah, like these are, pistachios are really, really healthy, healthy nuts for your heart. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what food you love from Costco. We would love to try them out. All right, that's it for today. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Check out our review videos. Stay tuned. Ring the notification bell. Bye.